we <laughs> sorry we had some uh audio problems you see this little thing this is our wireless and it went dead about 10 seconds before we came on this morning so we had to connect hardwire anyway good morning everybody we are here we are out back of our studios just take a look at what we got going on here we got chainsaws we got uh we got awards a big block of wood I'll give you three guesses. I have a feeling you'll be able to guess what we're going to do this morning in two. And uh, we've got Kevin and Tyler Strasland. Tyler, come on over here when you're ready. Uh, you folks are from the Eugene area, and you guys just won a couple of competitions. So you're a father and son duo, and you're chainsaw master carvers. What do you call yourselves? We're chainsaw sculptors. Chainsaw sculptors. How old are you, Tyler? 19. 19 years old, and uh, father and son duo here. So I'm assuming you started off the traits. You taught it to your son? Yeah. Yeah, I've been carving okay. for three years now, and he's been carving for two. Okay. And I started it off over in Highway 99, and that's where we're still at. And he came to work with me just a couple of years ago and cool. just took off. <laughs> Very cool. So so talk to me about, you know, the reason why we, we've got these guys here this morning. This is one, you're going to show us some artwork a little bit later on. And two, you just won a couple of competitions. You're both now first place champions. Can I classify you as that? Yeah. yeah. yeah I, was, I got a first place in Milton Freewater in the pro division. And Tyler won uh, first place in the semi-pro this year in Reedsport, and he was the youngest carver to ever do that so far down there. And wow. I was just, that was the most biggest win for me ever, man. I, I was bet. so proud. I <laughs> bet, because, you know, you, like I said, you started off, you treat, teach, teach it to your son. He wins, shows reflection on you, number one. But number two, dedication from this guy. So talk to me about the competition. How was that for you? It was fun. It was really tough because there's three and a half days of carving, and then you got to do a lot of other carving really? so yeah it's pretty intense i had no idea i thought it was just like one afternoon so you, you spent three days on a piece of artwork yeah and we wow. we try to make as good of a sculpture as we can so that we could you know try to win yeah we have we have a couple of, uh, of pictures of you actually in the, your competition so talk to me about what your your art piece was well i carved an indian going down the rapids in a canoe wow. so and i painted it all blue and everything and it's pretty cool. That is cool. So, now, growing up, did you have any um, idea that you were, one, going to be an artist in a way that's... I kind of wanted to be, you know, yeah. forever, but cool. I never knew that it would come to this. That's yeah. so cool. Well, first off, congratulations. We're going to show you again. <coughs> excuse me. We're going to show you again some of the uh, some of the uh, artwork they're going to show us here this morning. Again, here are their, their, um, their little their pieces that, that shows you, you know what, hey... We're pretty good at what we do, and so uh, we're going to show you these this morning. Of course, uh, they came out here early, and I and we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. One about we just showed you and talked to you about what Tyler made, but another interest, interesting story is what his dad made. Uh, and, and the theme of Indians, I have a feeling, somehow relates, but we'll talk about that and how they had this kind of rain dance thing going on and actually rained on them. So it's a pretty neat story. Of course, we're going to be here all morning long. Let's talk weather now. Is that cool? Are we good with that? It's, it's looking pretty good out there. You know, we're, we're standing outside. I, I don't know what to say right now. I think you should put it down. <laughs> you think <laughs> I should put it down? And step away. Let the, step away. Let the experts handle it. Yeah, yeah, he says it's like holding on to a motorcycle. It really is. I mean, I don't even know what it's going to be like when this thing starts up. It's probably going to scare me. I'm going to run back into the studio right. with it's you guys. It's going to be loud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So they're going to actually do some sculptures for us this morning, right? Yeah, totally. And, and we're going to talk to you about a little more stuff. Scott, if you could follow me real quick. Um, there's a whole story behind this little piece right here, too. So if you could see that, we're going to talk about that. And, yes, they're going to show us what they look like in action. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait nice. to see this. I've, yeah, seen the, I've seen the finished products, but I've never seen them but in action. See, and yeah, go from a block yeah. of wood to a sculpture. That'd yeah. Fun. Amazing. It should be cool. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Mm-hmm. 5.15 here on your Tuesday morning and later today, the Eugene Emeralds take on the Everett Aqua Sox at PK Park in Eugene. To do, but these guys make it look easy. Especially at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. do. I'm surprised. You know, you you wake up early. You know, most of us, we wake up, we're all tired at first. But I think these guys, instead of coffee, they just turn on that chainsaw and give <laughs> it a, going, yeah. a couple of cranks and they're ready to go. Jordan, you're right hanging up. out with them out back, right? Yeah, yeah. We're right outside the studios here this morning. And we're going to be talking to Kevin and Tyler Strasland here coming up in just a bit. Uh, and they're going to show us some of their, their art pieces. And this is just one. And it's not finished yet by any means, but there's a cool story behind this on uh, and plus we want to also mention about their competitions father and son duo both uh, first place champions in uh, Chainsaw what is it just chainsaw artwork? Is that what we call it? That makes sense uh, And so we'll talk to them in a bit. They're, they're setting up a block right now. We're 
going to make something out of it. So we'll see what we're going to make in just a bit. Time to catch up on weather real quick. Let's and good morning, everybody. You are taking a look at extreme art. You take a block of wood and you turn it into a piece of art, which is what we're doing right outside our studios this morning. We are with Tyler and Kevin Strasland, and they are a father and son duo who uh, have just won first place in a couple of chainsaw competitions and are now the champions in our area. So let's see if we can get them to, uh, to cut it off for a second. Ixnay on the Ainsaw Che. Maybe, is that how you say that? <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm, I'm wishing I had the headphones on this morning. It's a little uh, loud out here. Uh, good morning again. This is uh, this is Kevin and Tyler Strasland. If I can get you guys both over here this morning, we're going to talk to you real quick about what you're doing. Uh, we, we real quick introduced you the last half hour, what you do, what what uh, what you did in the competition, which was great. First place champions. We had the one competition in Milton Freewater, which was yours, and then we had one in Reedsport, which was yours. We talked to you a little bit about what you did. You were talking about uh, an Indian in a canoe, right? All right, so time now for, for Kevin. You you had an idea to do something with, with an Indian theme also. Yeah, well, I had done a couple Indians before, but when I got there, it was all about um, the way the log just, you know, that I, I had a, when you get the log, you can only do so much with it. Right, you, you know, know? The, come, come look at this. I mean, it's a full piece of block of wood, and what you do, you have to remove, obviously, the stuff you don't want, and so it, it really has to come to your artistic view, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. What I was thinking of doing was a stretch limo horse, you know, a big funny horse face, you know, ho, ho, you know, and, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, and it'd have three or four saddles and make a rocker for the kids, but the logs were kind of small this year, and, you know, the economy the way it is, it's the way it is, and you get what you get and you do what you do we, we have a couple of pictures of you in competition if we can throw those up and show you you know what you did you, you had this big piece of log and there's different stipulations one your son had a three-day competition you had 12 hours yeah yeah that was a little bit faster deal but you know you, the way you look at it is you got to get it done as fast as you can and look, you get two more days off than he got. Yeah, you know? that's true, right? <laughs> and you both got the first place, uh, the first place prize there. So, talk to me real quick uh, about the the idea you had about the Indian dance. I thought this was really cool. He told me this this morning about how when you came up with this idea, you were doing an Indian dancing, doing a rain dance, and people would come around while you were cutting the the piece of wood, and they were doing the dance. Yeah, they, the, my wife was telling me that when I was doing it, the people would come by and they were like going like this, you know, and dancing like yeah. they're, they're doing it. And I said, well, that many people doing it, you know, it's a miracle. It, it actually rained in Milton Freewater. That's yeah. so funny. Was, <laughs> you did a rain dance, uh, a rain dance piece of art, and then it happened to rain. You said that was the first time in what seven years? Yeah, first time <laughs> in seven years. It's, it's usually 105 to 110 degrees out there. And it was just really funny. It started raining, and everybody's going. <laughs> Wow, it's raining. I mean, you did it, you know. Now turn it off. And I was going, well, I didn't turn it on. Right. You know. <laughs> Do you think that had uh, that helped you in your your prize? The judges might have, yeah, uh, might have helped yeah. a little bit, yeah. All right, cool. Tyler, real quick. Tyler's working on this piece over here. And again, I keep teasing it, but this piece has got a really cool story um, that we're going to mention here coming up in our in our next uh, in about 20 minutes or so when we return. But right now, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about weather. It's it's not bad, but. I, I look up and I'm starting to see more clouds kind of move through now that we're getting closer to sunrise. So let's, let's check in with Jordan Steele. He's out back with them. There they are, working hard. And this has been fascinating, Jordan. Yeah, you know what? This is it's really cool to watch something like this happen. Um, it is hard to hear you guys. <laughs> you gotta give. It's kind of loud out here. It's great but, to see, not so good to hear. But like I said, you know, he started off at the original block of wood. And now you can totally see what it's become. It's starting to become a little more bear-like. So coming up uh, in about 10 minutes or so, we'll talk to uh, Kevin and Tyler Strassland, who we're here with this morning. And I talked to him a little bit about why they're here. Actually, I'll, I'll tell you why they're here. They're here because they're the new champions. They were in a, uh, in a wood carving competition, and both of them got first place. So that's kind of cool. Plus, we got Peel. He's having a lot of fun here this morning. Let's go to your weather, show you what's going on out the door. 